I cannot remain silent on this latest attack on women. This bill claims to make women safe, but we know that is not what the bill is all about. This bill is about dictating to women very personal medical decisions that should be left to a woman and her doctor. There will be continuing opposition to this bill because you are trampling on the rights of the majority of the women and girls in this state. They say women aren't smart enough to make their own decisions about their health care. These are all examples of the big lie. I believe that there has been a lot of damage done in the time that we have seen the passage of HB2. We've lost millions of dollars in business. We have the potential for losing billions of dollars in education funding. An investment in our teachers is really an investment in each of our 1.6 million children. This is not about religion. This is about fairness. It is about equal protection under the law. And it is about working for a North Carolina that looks forward towards a future where everyone has an opportunity to live their fullest life. Since 1997, Lillian's List has been hard at work recruiting, training, and supporting progressive women to run for public office in North Carolina. These women are champions of reproductive freedom and equity for all women. In the past two decades, we have identified over 800 potential progressive women leaders. As of 2017, we've helped usher 53 strong, powerful women into office. Women committed to changing both our state and the lives of everyone in it. We're working tirelessly to grow that number of women. In 20 years, we've accomplished great things. Our mission is to change the face of power in North Carolina. And that mission is only just beginning. North Carolina wins when women win.